This recipe is for a fabulous mushroom and chestnut wellington. It makes a lovely meat-free alternative for Christmas and the leftovers are great on Boxing Day. To begin with, I'm going to put some butter into a pan along with a splash of olive oil. And I've got some thinly sliced leeks. In they go. I'm just going to soften them for a couple of minutes. Now for some fresh thyme and some crushed garlic and cook for about a minute. And now for the delicious chestnut mushrooms. I've just quartered those. And they need about five minutes just until the mushrooms are softened and then just turn off the heat and leave the mixture to cool. Now the mixture's cooled, so I'm going to add some chestnuts. Now these are those vacuum packed ones. I've just crumbled them. And I've got some spinach here that I've cooked and cooled. In that goes. And some soft goat's cheese. And just give that a good mix together. And then just pop that aside for a moment. And then with a roll of cling film, just position it in front of your board. Roll a sheet out in front of you and spoon the mixture across the centre. And then shape the mixture as much as you can into a log shape. And then use the cling film to help you fold it over and tuck it in. And try and make sure you can enclose the ends and then just continue to roll and tuck. And then you should end up with quite a neat cylindrical shape. And just let's just trim that cling film and then pop it onto a tray and into the fridge for about an hour, just until it firms up. So we're ready now to assemble the Wellington and I've rolled out a sheet of puff pastry, unwrap the cylinder of filling and place it towards the lower end of the rectangle. And then I'm just going to brush the edges with a little bit of egg wash all the way around. There we go. And then using the pastry to help you, just lift it onto the wellington and then roll it away, squeezing as you go. And then you want that joint to end up on the bottom of the roll. There we go. And then just use your fingers to tuck in those edges to enclose the filling. Same on the other side, just tuck it in. You should have quite a nice neat parcel now. So I'm going to transfer it now onto a parchment lined baking tray. Now you can use some trimmings to make little leaf decorations or use a cutter if you've got one or just cut them by hand. Just stick those onto the wellington with a little bit of egg wash and then once you're happy with your design just brush it all over with the rest of the egg wash. And then all we need to do now is bake it for 30 minutes until it's crisp and golden brown and piping hot in the centre. It's my mushroom and chestnut wellington.